Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 11 today, verses 16 to 20. Jesus just cast out a demon, and they claimed he did it by Satan's power. Let's listen to what Jesus responds. Others testing him sought from him a sign from heaven, but he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan is also divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Because you say, I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Is Jesus casting out demons with the finger of God? He says he is. He certainly is casting them out. And look at his argument. A house divided against itself cannot stand. This is, by the way, one reason why your church and your local church, you should have some pretty heavy-duty degree of unity. There should be a lot of unity going on because a house divided against itself can't stand. Jesus' kingdom is, is united. Satan's kingdom is, is certainly united in opposing God. And so we want to be right. And so we have in our text here, Satan's kingdom. Jesus is refuting this idea that he's casting out demons by demonic power. And this is his argument. And it's a good one, right? If he was actually using demonic power to cast out demons, it, it, it's, it's fallacious. It's not. If he's actually using Satan's power to cast out demons, why, of course, the, Satan's kingdom will come to nothing. So Jesus makes a very a clear point. He's casting out demons by a power that's greater than the power of demons, the power of his father, in heaven. So friends, our God is stronger, stronger than demons. Praise his name. And now let us pray to him. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you are able to cast out demons. You're able to help us with all of our different needs, help us to grow spiritually, help us to be healed bodily and mentally. And so Lord, be our spiritual healer and helper among all the bodily things we always ask for. Help us to be spiritually healed through your strength and your mercies. In Jesus' name, Lord, this is what we're praying for this morning. Amen. So the power of God, may it be upon you for mental and heart healing because he longs to do it. You know you need it. What are we waiting for? May his blessings be with you today.